rich and famous or just rich bribing, cheating, buying their kids way into top schools how sick, how sad in case you haven't heard about it it's going to be all over the news most people now have probably heard about it Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin and her and their prospect their husbands, you know, on the list of of parents who have allegedly bought their kids way into top schools. Biggest cheese scale ever. This criminal mastermind was behind it all, but bribing top um like coaches at Ivy League schools and and they the parents you know they this guy singer was behind behind it but these these top people there's about fifty Felicity Huffman was arrested. I mean it's another example, you know, of the rich or famous like or with rich or they just think they could just do what they want or they're above the law and it's like I was talking about Jesse Smollett now now these you know, more names are gonna come out but now they've ruined their reputations and they they will have some of them are gonna serve jail time as should be the case. I was very proud of this whoever, I don't get, is he the prosecutor for the government or whatever, but he's like, you know, there, there's not a separate, you know, school system for the rich, and, and, and there's also not going to be a separate justice system. They're going to be treated the same, they say, and they're going to, they're going to be in trouble. Laughlin, Buckland, whatever, she's in Canada right now, but as soon as she comes back to the U.S., she's going to turn herself in. They've been caught, and the top guy has has pleaded guilty, so I don't feel bad for them, not one bit. You know, they, 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 they could just do what they want, and they, they, they there's even cases where the kids were recruited for sports for to get into a good school and they don't even play the sport. They don't even play the sport. They they place their heads onto other people's bodies, onto sports people's bodies. Like, it's unbelievable. Um, in the case of Felicity Huffman, um, she and her husband paid $15,000 to uh, have their kids' SAT scores it improved, like, the singer guy could arrange for someone else to take your SAT, a child's, a kid's SAT scores, I mean, take the SATs, or um, just change the scores to be better. And apparently, Felicity Huffman's daughter scored 400 points higher on the SATs than she had scored on the PSATs, but it doesn't matter because it's, it's all come out. The, it's a sting operation. I mean, they, they, this FBI has been investigating this for a year. They, they got some anonymous tip or something. Or I don't know. Who knows how it came out, but it did. And a whole bunch of schools are firing top coaches and top this and that because they took the bribes, you know, to accept these kids into these schools and People are going to pay the price. I hope they all do. I hope they all go to jail. They should go to jail. They're, they're not above the law. And they, this is like unreal. And it took spots away from kids who actually fought to, to try to get into these schools. And this is sickening. Sick and it's sad. See that? We're going to be seeing that on the news for a while. There's a lot more names that are going to come out. I don't know if any more quotes 
famous uh, quote names will come out, but the fact that Felicity Huffman and has been arrested and Lori Laughlin is going to be arrested, I mean, tough luck. You break the law, you pay just like anyone else. This is major breaking of the law. And I was watching it on Nightline and the guy who says, you know, money matters, how much you paid. So Felicity Huffman paid 15000 for one daughter to fudge her SAT scores, make them, you know, make them much better. But Lori Laughlin and her husband paid 500000 a half a million for their two daughters to get into a top school. And the, 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 the prosecutors are saying, oh, well, the kids aren't in on it, and they, they're not be it, but who knows? In this instance, it wouldn't surprise me if they, if Larry Laughlin's kids are in on it, because they're going to know that they were accepted into a school for a sport they didn't even play. Okay? They didn't play the sport. They, and Larry Laughlin has paid a half a million for two daughters to get into this top school and they they pretended it was fudged that they were that they played a sport they don't even play I mean half a million dollars I don't know she should serve serious jail time for that or she and her husband should serve serious jail time and the girls shouldn't be allowed to stay in the school either. Apparently the daughter is like really, really big social influencer on, on social media. I know she makes a lot of money that way. And, and I don't see how the kids cannot know. The, the prosecutors are saying that a lot of this, the kids didn't know, but if you're accepted into a school where you're supposed to be playing a sport you don't play, I mean, I'm not sure, you know, the kids could say they didn't know, but I, I'm sure in some of these instances the kids are aware of what the parents are doing. They live in that kind of culture where people just think they can, you know, lie and cheat their way to the top. and. Joe would say for far too many people there's no moral compass. Joe even had me listen to a YouTube video from someone. He's not this anymore, but he used to be a Satanist and like a high level one and he left and he says Joe says that this guy says I think his last name is P. Picasso. I don't know what it is, but he says that you think of, oh, the dark robes and worshiping, you know, a Satanist. He says the Satanists are people that just, they're going to do what they want to do to get themselves ahead at any cost, and they don't, they have no concern for anyone but themselves. That's a true Satanist. You don't have to be wearing, wearing a, you know, a robe and, 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 you know, and whatever, and doing chants and et cetera, et cetera. That's what Joseph, this guy, teaches. So more people are actually Satanists than you could imagine.
My mom leaves a lot, but that's good. She has an active life, you know. Unlike me and my mostly boring life. She's gonna leave, so let's... Sometimes... Let's me go into her bed. If she's gone, I don't... I could wear my earplugs and drown at the world, but not have to, you know, feel guilty or think maybe I shouldn't have these earplugs in. What if something happens to my mom in the nighttime, you know? But in the end, as I've always been saying, I matter too. I have the right 